Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. This is Len Schildroth from East Lake in Hopkins, Michigan. I want to welcome you to my daily podcast. Uh, it's going to get up to about 76 today. It, this, it's cloudy, a little sun is shining, and there's a, a nice breeze. I think it's about 12 miles per hour. Beautiful day. I thought I'd get outside again. I really like being outside, and maybe I'll try to do more of, it, more of that this summer. Amir and I were just cutting the grass. It kind of hit me, why not try to do a podcast outside? to God? Are you ready to listen to his voice? There's a scripture that says, today if you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts. And it's based on what the Israelites did in the Old Testament. They hardened their heart to God and uh, God judged them for that. They wandered for 40 years in the desert because of the fact, because of the fact, that they had hardened their God and they had a heart of unbelief. I have something here. I have some problems here. I may not. Hold on. The wind's blowing. I don't know. nice if I just knew all these, but I don't know if I can just do that. I'll try one. See what we can do. This may blow away. I like this song, huh? This is... Hey, Mary. Could you walk into the table and get my car key thing and throw it on this paper? My car keys are on the table. I'd like to just set it on my paper here if I could. If that makes any sense. Uh, let's try. Try again. Nope, oh, ain't gonna work where I can't even do this because my paper won't stay down. Uh, 
Okay. Mary gave me a rock. <laughs> she always has an answer. This is my father's world. And to I'll do this one. Get ready for a Memorial Day a little. I hope, huh? <clears throat> Take this down. My eyes have seen the glory of the my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He has tramping up the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has looped his faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword is... I think so. Oh 
love it and shall never call me treaties sifting out the hearts of men before the judgment seat oh be swift my soul to answer him be doomed but let my feet our God is marching on glory glory hallelujah your glory glory hallelujah glory glory hallelujah is truth came out here quickly um, I just maybe I'm thinking this morning about uh, the world and the world system the Bible says be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God do not be conformed to this world the world is trying to fit us fit us into his mold uh, we learn from the Bible that Satan is the prince of the power of the air. He is the adversary. It says, be on your guard, for your adversary the devil, like a roaring lion, goeth about seeking whom he may devour. And Satan uses the kingdom of this world to enslave us. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, for all that is in the world, the lust of the eyes, and the lust, the lust of the flesh, flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life and the world is passing away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever uh, we find in the book of Revelation in chapter 18 of Revelation that Babylon and this world will be completely destroyed completely destroyed the kingdom of this world the kingdom of Satan the kingdom of kingdom of the Antichrist will be destroyed and if we're living our life for this world, this kingdom and this world is passing away. And we should be living our lives for God. So that's my encouragement, to love God. Uh, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, for all that is in the world, the lust of the eyes and the lust of the, lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of the, of the, pride of the flesh. For the world is passing away, and the lust thereof, and they that do the will of God will abide forever. We've been doing a study on the heart, and we are, we are prone to have a problem with our hearts. Um, God wants your heart. Will you give him a heart? Give him your heart. Will you live for him instead of pleasure? Will you live for him instead of things? Will you understand that you cannot live on your own? You cannot find peace and joy and satisfaction on your own. You must find it from Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. Thank you that we can kind of deal with the wind a little bit. Thank you that we can be outside because it's beautiful. It is true that the world that you have made is very beautiful. But sometimes, Lord, we have a lot of substitute for you. Sometimes we're living for pleasure, living for things. Help us understand that we are not to be conformed to this world, but we're to be transformed by the renewing of our minds 
so that we might prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Well, may the Lord bless you, and may the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine down upon you, and may the Lord be gracious unto you, and may the Lord grant you his peace today.